Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here again, doing another vlog. I know last time was kind of a flop of a day, but I figured I'd do another day in the life and uh, see how things go. So for today, I have three things lined up. Uh, they're all pretty promising, I hope. Um, so last time, I went to that Remax meeting and the agent thought we scheduled the day for tomorrow, which was yesterday. Today's Thursday now, uh, November 19th. Already, wow, this month is flying by. It's been, due to the pandemic, it's been the slowest, fastest year to date, it feels like, in my life. It's just an odd feeling, but again, we're going to Remax. Hopefully, things work out today. Hopefully, she's organized, she's here, she's professional, because uh, I heard good things about her, but just to schedule, I, I just don't understand whether you're a realtor or a business owner or whatever, client, uh, you know, just a professional in your field, how you schedule something and then schedule something else or just get the dates wrong, like. So, uh, yeah, again, we'll just see how that pans out. So afterwards, once I got that done, I'm heading to, it is called Beads Auto Detailing. Uh, a buddy of mine, Eugene, I actually did his uh, promo video uh, for being a photographer. Um, he got contacted to shoot them a commercial uh, and uh, he doesn't really do commercials and like he's not into cars so he told the guy he was like hey this isn't really like my specialty my forte this isn't what I really do like Eugene's a ph phenomenal photographer but uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen him really do any video projects uh, at least nothing commercial wise or in like the automotive industry so then he gave it to another guy, and then he just got married. So then I got contacted, um, what was it Tuesday night? And he was like, hey, can you can you do this one? Um, are you available tomorrow, yesterday at 11 a.m.? Uh, this guy wanted to shoot a commercial. So I, I got up early yesterday and called him, but uh, yeah, he didn't answer at first, and I, caught, I got on the line with him at like, um, what was it, like 10.30, so like we didn't have enough time to do the shoot or anything. I also didn't want to just show up and do the shoot because then if there's no pre-planning for video production, it's not going to turn out well. Uh, just bottom line, that's like one of the top three rules when it comes to uh, video production. It's just that's something you need to do. Plan things out so things work out and look good. Uh, but anyways, so I talked to him for a bit. It, the guy seemed very professional. So we're meeting up today for a consultation and then um, I guess the next time he gets like a Porsche or a high-end Corvette or just another luxury or supercar, um, he said we'll schedule a date to then uh, do the shoot. Lastly, uh, after that, because I'm doing that around 12 o'clock or 1 p.m., uh, at 4.30, I'm going to Zest, uh, the restaurant that I shot their um, their commercial. Uh, that was part, yeah, that's definitely my favorite restaurant commercial to date. Um, I'm meeting up there, they're having a networking event, so I wanna see how that's gonna turn out. Uh, it's nice that networking events are slowly starting back up. Now, they're supposed to be doing some social distancing, I don't really know how that's gonna turn out. Um, and wearing masks for a prolonged period of times just gets annoying, especially indoors where like it's heavily heated. That could be a little uncomfortable, especially with a beard. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to uh, network some pe with some people, uh, make some new contacts, and um, maybe possibly align some things up. Hello, everyone. Um, I have a 10 a.m. meeting with Joanne today. Is she in? Or? She's gonna look right out. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Here. <laughs> hey. I'm so sorry. Though. Oh, no worries. It was one of those that I didn't write it in. I thought, oh, I'll remember. <laughs> and I no didn't write it in. And... Later. Okay. That actually went really well. Get this car loaded up real quick. Just throw everything here. Lens cap in my pocket. All right, so that went really well, uh, the meeting with Joanne. I guess it was just a mishap, life happens. Uh, I'm not really upset about it, I'm glad we met up. She seemed really interested. I got to do a full presentation. 
a lot of times um, I'll meet up with a realtor or business person and like depending on um, how interested they look or uh, how long the presentation goes kind of gives me a good idea of like how interested they'll be in working with me sometimes <sighs> meetings are short and like the person's just like not terribly interested but like we talked and she let me talk uh, I think I was there yeah it's been like a full hour meeting so like she's extremely interested in meeting up and working with me in the future just due to the oh turn off that music copyright <laughs> but uh yeah she just due to COVID and everything uh, and things being kind of slow and Joanne's uh, a bit older so she said she's like semi-retired um she does have some properties down the pipeline it's just uh, I think they'll be more so ready in December or January for the one case but uh that's fine it, and she she definitely will refer me because I do have like a special referral program that maybe I could talk about at a future time and date uh, in another video because having a referral program for your business, being a photographer, videographer, professional media specialist, or whatever you do uh, could be extremely helpful and useful uh, to land new clients. You give them something in return that's useful for them and they'll get you good paying, reliable clients because they want to get what you're offering as like a referral reward. So, all right, I'm gonna head home. I got about an hour. I gotta unload the car here. I got a lot in here. Um, I also gotta jot down some notes for this auto detailing uh, business. I have some ideas. I'm just gonna wanna put together a shot list so I come looking prepared and I know what I wanna talk about while I'm there with them. And uh, Again, uh, that one also seems very promising. So today is going really well so far. Just the thing is, like I said in the previous vlog, like you have some good days and then there's days where like nothing works out and it's just all part of the game. So Tuesday was a flop and Thursday so far is going really well and will probably lead to some shoots in the near future. Hello. Alright guys, it's getting close to 2 p.m. and I kind of wanted to get to my next meeting a bit earlier, but uh, this one's for an auto body uh, detailing shop and uh, this guy brings in pretty uh, high priority clients. So, um, heading there now, gonna meet up with him. I have a lot of ideas of mine for a uh, commercial shoot already. And then uh, I always try to upsell, so hoping I can set up the commercial shoot. The guy seems, again, very professional, and he was easy to talk to and whatnot. But uh, I wanna see if I could do more with him. Instead of just the video shoot, maybe I could offer a photo shoot, because I have been doing uh, car photography here and there for a while. I hate this intersection. And then the other thing is, like, I also don't want this vlog to become pretty much like a just driving vlog like I'd love to take you guys along for shoots when I do have them it's just I'm in the process of lining them up right now uh, and then I want to do some like I guess tutorials on like how to shoot certain kind of um certain kind of photos uh, like I said I want to do a video series or a few videos on doing the real estate media see how that turns out and then I have a lot of other ideas uh, I'd also like to do like equipment reviews and whatnot, I think would be really cool for the channel. So we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, uh, this guy, Matt, at the Beads, uh, Beads Auto Detailing, gonna meet up with him now. Uh, I'm sure he has uh, some cool uh, vehicles already in inventory, and, and I'll see what I can put together. But other than the commercial video, I wanna see if I could do, you know, more things such as like headshots for his website, uh, new car photos. Um, maybe things like testimonials from some of his uh, repeat clients and uh, maybe some prints too even if I do a photo shoot of some of his cool video vehicles that he has there maybe I can sell him prints that's how you guys got to think you know you just don't want to meet up with a company and have like a one and done sort of project it's it's always better to see if you can continually work with them and uh, get 
try to maximize your profits because essentially you're going to help whoever you're working with uh you know just build up their business branding and their image so if you're if you're good at what you do and uh you have a good new client that you know has a pretty successful business they're more than likely gonna want to continue working with you if the first project goes well and if you can offer them a lot of value that's the key thing it just doesn't make sense to only get one thing out of a business when you can possibly make up to you know three to five grand with just one business and that builds up your portfolio pretty significantly if I do several projects with this auto uh, this vehicle you know uh, body detailing shop I can take all this content to other detailing shops and be like hey this is a client I worked with. Here's all the media and uh, content I did for you know his social media and website. And uh, then you can take that and if the quality is good enough and if the other business you're reaching out to doesn't have much branding already or if they're in need of something new or creative, they'll probably book with you and you can resell essentially what you already made. Uh, shooting it would be similar, obviously don't make it cookie cutter and offer every business a cookie cutter um, a product because every auto uh, detailing business or any business in general is going to have its unique quirks and uh, traits and whatnot so you can definitely um, just do it that way so yeah I'll be there pretty soon let's see how this meeting goes then I get some downtime I didn't sleep terribly much last night and uh, then, yeah, a uh, networking event. Pretty excited about that. See how that goes. Hopefully I can land some potential new clients or just see what's going on in the valley now that business owners are starting to go out to these things again. And uh, take it from there. Just do my best. I also got to talk to the owner of Zest because you guys know I shot a, their commercial before. Um, I also have prints up in the restaurant. I want to get them relocated into the main hallway. The prints they have in there are too expensive right now. Uh, they're charging, some of the artists have, and the thing too is they're abstract artworks. I'm not saying abstract art is bad, but like abstract artwork is very niche. And when they're trying to sell it for like $950 for, you know, framed print uh, or framed painting, um, most people look at that and they're just like, eh, that's too much. The prints I have up in Zest are cheaper and uh, they're local artworks. I have a, a Bethlehem series. Bethlehem series there and then I also have a series of prints uh, from a series I did in St. Petersburg, Florida. So I want to get those in the main hallway because again they're cheaper and uh, they'll sell faster. So I think I should do that as a video as well. Talk about how I can, uh, how you guys can go about selling prints to businesses like restaurants and uh, how to successfully go about it. Get your prints in there and uh, get them sold. Earn yourself some passive income because all the time, you're like I said, and what you guys are seeing is not every day or every week is going to be great for you. You may not always be able to line up shoots. So if you have things like prints up in restaurants for sale or other forms of passive income, uh, that'll help supplement you on your slower weeks. All right, guys, we're here at Beads Auto Detailing. So I have the meeting here with the owner. I'm just going to go in. Show my demo reel, my portfolio. I uh, got the business cards on hand as always. Uh, some ideas in mind, a price sheet lit, made up. So it should be a pretty easy uh, meeting and I, I think I'll land this client. Uh, should definitely be able to do some work together. Oh, no worries, man. How's it going? It's going good, a little hectic. I, I can imagine. Uh, it's, been, it's been a busy week. Uh, would you prefer me to wear my COVID-19 face mask? Or? Okay, now I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I followed you on Instagram yesterday. I love these uh, lights you got. Yeah, they're gonna get uh, a couple weeks. They're back order. I'm getting two more, one more row added from the side. Okay, yeah, that would look great. Okay. So, do you know Eugene? Or, cause he, he... No. Okay. I had uh, a gentleman by the name of M-Shot Media Company. Uh-huh. Um, I don't even know his real name. Okay. And it was set up for three and a half weeks, and then he called the morning of, basically, like, real late, like, oh, get the voice box on one Yeah. Saying that his brother got sick, and it was up to me if I wanted to get the still come, and I was like, no, please don't. 
because uh, I'm guessing you will be sick as well. So yeah. then I just put out the post, I thought, man, what can I do? So if the C8 is long gone. Then, okay. So this will be for future reference uh, for, you know, for higher end stuff. When it's something that's common, like, today, like today's cars, mm -hmm. um, I usually just take the photos. Yeah. Because it can save you money. Right, right, right. Of course. But as much as cars, I like real photos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that meeting went great. <laughs> Matt was really cool to talk with. His business is very interesting, the way he goes about doing things. Uh, I'm really looking forward to working with Beads Auto Tailing. The commercial, I have a ton of ideas. I showed him my demo reel. I showed him the recent photos I've done uh, with the Ford Mustang at the last car meetup. He, he was pretty impressed with the photos. So um, that was a big selling point as, as far as me selling myself to him. Uh, for wanting to partner up with me and work with me. So he was impressed. I showed him some other videos. I've, sh um, I've showed him some commercials and like different things I can offer him because yeah, he's getting some work done to his shop right now as far as aesthetic and uh, just making things uh, work and flow for him more interesting, uh, more swimmingly, uh, like a fork uh, jack lift and all that sort of stuff. So, um, I'm gonna head home now. I got some downtime to chill out, uh, maybe do some editing. I think I'm really just gonna rest for a bit and then head to the Zest uh, business networking event, see how that goes. And um, I'll, I'm trying to see if I can get a friend or uh, someone I know to go along with me. So this way it's a little easier. You don't have to like um, have so much like, I guess, social anxiety because I know some people do. It, it, having someone there with you also like, helps you not you know it helps you stand out a little more if you have a little invite your friends for networking events because people see that like oh there's a group of people together um they're having a conversation let me go speak to them but if you're alone like it could be a little more uh iffy here and there but anyways gonna head back again super happy that i landed this new client uh extremely thankful to uh eugene and Kristen for giving me this referral uh, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'm, ex again, oop, the way the cars drive on this intersection, everyone just flies through here. Here comes another one going awfully fast. But again, super excited to work with this detailing shop. Um, I can only imagine what we're gonna put together, make a little miniature movie. And uh, yeah, do his Google map photos, uh, testimonial videos with his repeat clients and uh, give him a, a list of other ideas that we can go about doing. So, he hell, even I might get my Mazda 6 here detailed uh, from the shop, because from what I've seen, uh, the quality and his you know professional touch just looks phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to take good care of this vehicle as well. Um, it could use a bit of a little cleanup, so definitely gonna keep that in mind for an option. Maybe I can even do that as a cool vlog uh, video where I go to the shop, get my car done, and just, yeah, do something a little different for either this channel or the L7 YouTube channel, or psh, could even be done for his YouTube channel. And that's what, that's how you gotta think. You gotta think of like, how to land the client, and then not only just sell them one photo shoot or one video shoot, but sell them more on top of that. So maybe in the future, oh, there goes a Maserati right there. <laughs> but uh, maybe in the future, I can sell him prints um, from vehicles that I do for him and then we could put it up around the shop. The possibilities are really endless and um, that's the way you really build up a successful portfolio, uh, keep your bills paid and just uh, yeah, build some serious profits. So that's all I, I really wanna do with this series is go about my day to day uh, and show you guys how I think and process things and give you guys some value. Uh, so yeah, any questions too, guys? If you have a you know tough time with clients or um, you're looking to see what you can do more of, uh, definitely feel free to leave a comment below, and uh, maybe I can answer it in a video for you guys. Do like a question of the day. Three hours later. All right. So this last networking event thing for the day was a complete waste. Um, the event was canceled but they didn't officially cancel it. So at Zest, they still had 
they have all the employees on staff and uh, the networking group, which I'm not gonna throw under the bus, I suppose, uh, didn't take the time to call Zest and announce that, hey, we're closed, or we're not doing the event. And so Zest is open. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess some people still showed up expecting there to be an event when there was, I guess, really no plans to still have one. So, <sighs> This ended up being a waste of time for me, waste of a drive. And again, guys, this just shows how unprofessional some things can be in the Lehigh Valley. A Lehigh Valley networking group holds an event, plans it, sets it up with zest, and yet, uh, when it comes to it, the event gets canceled and they didn't like completely cancel it on social media. So people showed up, the zest staff is there, and I feel bad for them because they're on set. Well, I guess they could probably close early, but still, like, <laughs> it's just stressful that, like it doesn't really affect me Zest isn't far from me but like I feel bad for all the employees who showed up and then uh, you know the random business people that showed up for the event uh, they showed up and now they're just heading home so <laughs> it's just a common trend here anyways that's really it I still had a great day uh, I was gonna do like a little um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for I was just gonna do a little recap um, back at the office space but uh, yeah, that's really it for the video. I landed the gig and we just had an overall good day. I can't really complain this networking event. Um, I don't know, that could have been better managed. Like if you guys are gonna cancel the event, make sure you call the venue, cancel it there, and then fully cancel the event on social media. They made a, like, a small comment post that the event was canceled, but they didn't like delete everything about the event that's what they should have done but whatever it's all good i'm just gonna head back home for the night uh maybe do some editing and see what happens tomorrow definitely want to vlog again sometime soon definitely want to plan things out like set up a photo shoot and just like get it recorded that's the thing i'm just i'm doing so much by myself and it's it's not easy uh to vlog and eh, i don't know i'll figure something out so i can make like a more entertaining video because that's what i want to bring to you guys values, some knowledge, some education here, and, you know, overall entertaining video. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.